Hey everybody, welcome to the 3M Podcast. I'm your host, Jeremiah Wheelersburg. Thank you for tuning in. You can find out more about the show or links to iTunes and how you can subscribe to the show. Leave your five-star review. That would really help us out. Also, if you share about our show on social media, that would really help. You can find links to direct people to the podcast at jnwheels.com under the 3M Podcast tab. Last time we were talking about friendship, continuing in the book, The Minister, The Ministry, and Me, also available under the free book, my free book tab at jnwheels.com. Um, let's pick up where we left off and just get this topic underway. I was talking about the way not to make friends in ministry. And so unfortunately, like Jesus, I've heard pastors tell their staff and I quote, I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to be your pastor or worse. I'm not here to be your friend, but your pastor and I can fire you. I don't know who discipled these pastors, but I know it was not Jesus. Jesus was not a professional. He was a leader, a shepherd, and a loving friend to those who surrounded him. These pastors are unapproachable and friendless, oftentimes divisive, arrogant. I would not serve with such a man. We're called to be Christ-like to one another in relationship, not just in duty and teaching. Reality. Here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying that you and everyone on staff at your church need to have slumber parties or go golfing together. You're all busy and everyone doesn't have time to invite you over for a barbecue every weekend. Please don't let that make you cry yourself to sleep. We're all called to be like Jesus, but none of us is Jesus. As leaders in the church, we're all under shepherds of Jesus and we are to point one another to the chief shepherd. That's what a friend should do. Your co-pastors need to develop friendships for themselves and you're expected to develop your own friendships. I'm not saying in this chapter that your pastor is to be your best friend and confidant. Uh, You know, you are to be friends. Be a friend. Hold one another accountable. Encourage one another. Serve alongside one another. I'm I'm encouraging you as a team member to be a friend to the people you serve with or your pastors by loving, supporting, being real, open, honest, fearless towards your pastors. None of us need man-pleasing wimps around the office, but real, genuine people who treat one another with the respect of a good and honest friend. And with that, here are some questions worth pondering. What are some of the benefits of having true friends? Do you have one or two friends with whom you experience genuine fellowship? Are you able to love, trust, and confide in these friends? Are you able to confess your faults, failures, and sins with your friends? Or friends with full trust, with whom you have full trust and confidentiality? And if you don't have friends, are you willing to be a friend and make friends? You guys, I hope you consider these things. I hope you consider that those who you serve with in church and in ministry, you're also able to confide in. You're also able to hold accountable when you see things that aren't right with the decisions that are being made in church. You have an input. You're able to say, hey, I don't see this going well for us or with you. Are you able to do those things and have those things be received by the people that you serve with? That's called accountability. That's called transparency. That's called genuineness and friendship. A true friend loves at all times, but also faithful, says the scriptures, are the wounds of a friend. We must be willing to not only be friends in the good times, but also speak hard things to one another and accept those things back and forth mutually. That's how we keep ourselves in the love of God and how we keep ourselves on track and in life. So anyways, you guys, if these uh, two episode series on friendship, if these have encouraged you or challenged you or, or spoken to you in any way, please let us know. 
You can find out all the contact information for me at jnwheels.com. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, feedback for us there. We'd love to hear from you. And with that, we took a break from the ODG segment just to get you this series on friendship. So tune in next time. Keep us in your prayers. And as always, thank you for listening to the 3M Podcast. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.